Remove that. Oh man. Looks like the it's too precise. Strange. The, the other screw set was too precise. Crazy. Move it up. Just watch for that little wire. We can leave it like that for right now. Let's see, you might have to we might have to take that out. These plugs might be alright. This doesn't even feel screwed on correctly. Take all these out. They're real soft. See that should that should be the only part. Also the I forgot one more thing. Got rid of the little cable that hold that holds the uh, I should say that powers the fan. Should just lift up. All these cords are in the way. See we can lift them up a bit. There we go. A little bit, a little bit dirty. I don't know if that's dust. Oh yeah, it's dust. Kind of gross. Could, could can't use some canned air for that. So you can zoom in on that. Mm. And then you got, you got your paste. Gross. It's all gross. Let me see if I should remove this little black piece. Oh great. There's some some goop not going to come out. Alright. Scratch that. We'll just clean what we can. <laughs> I can't even get it out of this, this sticker right here. Maybe. <laughs> oh I guess it's glued on. I cleaned it off camera because if I cleaned it well, I could have moved the camera, I guess, but I cleaned off camera because I didn't want to get any of the stuff on, on here. Ooh, I wonder what's all this underneath. Oh, it's a ramp. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> but yeah, I didn't want to get I didn't want to get any of the the thermal paste. So I'm going to go ahead and just use like a little brush, just clean it out. Let's see. In the other side as well. I had an instance where, um, when I when I blew the uh, the dust out, it um <laughs> it turned off the fan, <laughs> or I should say it it clogged up the fan. It was pretty it was pretty gnarly. Clean all that out. Also, dusting is pretty loud, so you, you're gonna get you're gonna get that all edited out. Okay, and here comes the moment of truth. It's how much you should put in. Let's see, I think that's too much. Mm. 
Mm, good enough for me. Let's go ahead and put in the fan. Squeeze it in there like that. <laughs> Or you can close it in there. Connect the uh, fan. Power to the fan. Tuck the wires underneath like how it was earlier. Now it screws back on. First time you don't you don't want to um to uh, tighten it too much. Because it's 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 gonna give it a uneven an e uneven a tie down. Also I didn't remove the uh, processor so, so that I don't have to worry about um maybe bending any of the pins that it has. So if you're if you're replacing that's a different story, but um, I recommend just to just to leave it on, leave it on, you know, on the uh, socket, and then just just like, well, if gently if you can, don't like you know, smash that thing when you clean it. But usually, I mean, you'd rather have all those pins. They're they're not going nowhere in that socket unless you press real real hard. All right, let me just tighten it. Not too tight, and also these things these things move a bit. So there's like there's like springs on them, so you don't have to worry about about um or I should say don't worry about over tightening them. Of course, this is this uh, screwdriver has a little magnet, very useful. Um. I don't think they affect LCDs. I don't think that magnet is that powerful. But don't, don't, uh, don't be, yeah, don't be doing that kind of stuff. And then we gotta tuck these wires again. And shove the other one right after it. Yeah, shove it in there. Mm. Oh yeah. So first things first. And we're gonna, we're gonna have to connect this little bad boy on there. Just go ahead and just. See this. Oh, you guys can't see it. Oh my gosh! Just connect. All right, everything's connected. Go ahead and. Get this thing flush right in there. Make sure the top snaps in first. You need to do this side. Edges. You have these tabs. You have to, you have to lift. Oh boy! Ah. I'm trying to, I'm trying to. Oh, this is where the spoodle should come. Oh, this the spoodle. The spudger should come in. Oh, there you go. So, I would say putting this part first. And then up here. So you just make sure all the make sure the tabs are are in there. I don't think this these tabs in there correctly yet. Let's use a screwdriver. Push it in and push push up if you can. 
Whoa, don't drop the thing. Alrighty, sweet. Next are the screws. I didn't show a disassembly, but um, you have, you have these, uh, these screws right here. Okay, we got these screws over here. You got one, two, three, and four right there. You might have to take out that so you could get more, more, more uh, space. But I didn't because I don't care. <laughs> just kidding. Um, it's just another step that I didn't really want to do. Um, I mean, if it was really that problematic, I would, I would have not done that. You know, I would have taken it off. But first time taking this thing apart, very interesting. Uh, how the how they build a T four ten is just slightly different from the um, the uh, T you know the T sixty ones that I'm so used to uh, fixing up and you just connect the cable for the keyboard. Let's see, has a lot of. A lot of space <clears throat> man I think I'm getting sick and then at the end push up and then without breaking any make sure it's give everything down push down slowly there you go earlier I knocked out one of these keys thank thank uh praise the lord that it didn't um <laughs> it didn't goof up so yep, there you go. Oh Jesus, I forgot the whole time this video I was gonna do. I was gonna clean that up, and uh, ah, forget it. I was gonna clean it up to see if uh there was any um dirt that would come off. But I don't even care now. Okay guys, so let's go ahead and put in the screws. Um, I had to push in, you know, push in that little part right there. And I also hit my microphone right there. It's gonna be some weird audio going on. You know, I shouldn't have put my microphone so close to this part of the, uh, this part of the, uh, 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 laptop I want to say it's a, yeah the part of the video it's so awkward recording sometimes you can see some big ass hand right there my bad rest of the laptop assembly I have my screws right there I have them so I have them that way so I know which one goes where Um, there isn't any like really indicators for th for this model for this one on the bottom. All you get is the um, you get one for the keyboard right there. I know the one for the uh, RAM door and stuff like that. I thought that was kind of strange. Let's see, this screw goes over here. Wait, does it? Oh crap! Oh no, yes, yes, it does. Yes, it does. Also, if you can see, is it even connecting? You have a uh, one RAM slot here, and then you have the other one, the other one uh, beneath the keyboard. Um, I think Lenovo did this so they could save space, uh, rather than having like the two RAM, the two RAM right on top of each other, like like on the T400 and the T60s. Uh, so I thought that was, I thought that was kind of interesting. So you can see some huge ass screwdriver. My bad guys. Let's go ahead and put in these ones over here. Oh no. This screw is actually a little bit different size than the rest of them. So just watch out right there. I 
I'm not going off the. I didn't check the hardware menus manual on this one, but um, since it was so simple, you know, I didn't want to worry about it. On the uh, X300 video, I actually did not know which screw went where, and I think I lost the screw or something when it came to reassembling it again. Probably gonna be all this interference on the uh, microphone. Probably, you guys probably can't even hear me. She could just look at like a headset or something. Bars are more on a on a blue snowball. I'll tell you that right now. <laughs> all right, let's go ahead. And... How the hell does this thing go in? All right, I know you go in this way. Oh, these these tabs are freaking weird. All right, so this one's all stupid. Oh my gosh. Just fit in there. Alrighty, and there we go. Oh, one last part is the, uh, I didn't have to take off the hard drive, but I took it just in case. You never know. You never know if there's a hidden screw underneath it. Alrighty guys, there you guys go.